Hey Zoo family, welcome to a very extra special video for the Christmas season. Uh, we did some videos last year where we did give backs. We taught the kids to give, we taught the kids to do a, a whole lot of selfless things during this time of year. We didn't do that as much this year, but we had some ideas in the back of our mind and we really wanted to get this one done. This is really important to us and mom's gonna explain why. So this year we wanna do something really special and really near and dear to our hearts and we were gonna do NICU care packages for three of the families that have been there the longest. Yeah. Um, I had called the hospital yesterday and today and we got information and there is two baby boys and one baby girl that have been there for months. And could be there months for longer. For months longer, yeah. And we're, we're Just, talking about, when we talk about being in the hospital that long. In the, in the most intensive, Care exactly. In the NICU. And they're not just staying till their due date. They came so early that their goal isn't just a due date. They're going to have to stay there a lot longer than just trying to get them healthy till their due date, which was the original goal for her. And she graduated out of the NICU in two weeks. She's an extra fast grad, but that's because uh, that's just that her just story. The that's the <laughs> Lord, right? Yes. But um, it's not to say that the Lord's not with these families. They just have a different yeah, story that God is writing. Right. And it's a tough one. And it gets noticed sometimes, and sometimes it doesn't. We assume they have family and friends and right. stuff, but you know what? We, we want to show them some love. Hospital is just right. terrible in general. Right, so right. We I can't imagine. We wanted to do something that was uniquely special from us to them we don't even know these are complete strangers and we're not going to meet them we'll never meet them no. no but we do want to make sure that they know that they are loved and cared for and that are thought and of. thought of and yeah. prayed for Absolutely. yeah so we're going to do a lot of extra special things mom put together a list yes. of of things she found through google thank you google yeah. of things that NICU families want especially yeah. when they've been in yeah. the hospital a long time yeah. i just can't imagine like being there christmas scary. can you imagine being there christmas oh. blows my mind i'm, I'm so totally sad blown away by that so we're gonna put these items together from your list right yep. Yep. and the first so one is one what this is lotion because in the NICU you wash your hands every single time mm. you get there every mm -hmm. single time you have to mm -hmm. push the baby mm -hmm. Every single time, anything, literally, like you're yeah. washing your hands so much. And that is not soap with lotion in it. No. It's dry soap. It's your basic soap. <laughs> Gotta get some lotion. lotion. Hand lotion. Ultra something. healing. How about ultra healing? Ultra healing. That's not a bad idea. Because we're talking about, we're talking about, uh, gosh, three months of washing your hands six to ten times a day. Yeah, no, and that's not an exaggeration. That's, that's not an like exaggeration. Legit. Six to ten times a day for three months. Okay, which one? Which one are we thinking? Do the pump because it's easier. Pump. Oh, okay, yeah. Jergens Ultra Healing yeah. here. And by the way, we're doing how many families? Three. Three, three so families. Two babies, boys, and one baby girl. Good. Logan, put those in the cart for me. Come on, Logan, put them over here. This way, this cart, this cart. Okay. One baby girl, two baby boys, three families. Meaning we need three bottles of lotion. Item number two, Mom? Fluffy socks. Fluffy socks. Now, is this a purely comfort based item? It's comfort, but it's also like. Your feet get really cold there. At the hospital, at right. The hospital. Yeah. And if you get cold feet, that's the place they're gonna be coldest. Right. It stands right. to reason, right? And who wants to wear socks or who wants to wear shoes and socks for hours? These are families who probably come to the room, spend as much time with the baby as they can, they kick off their shoes. It might be nice to kick off their shoes and have some comfy socks on. It's just it's a little comfort. Okay, Scarface. Perfect. You wanna put those uh, socks in the uh, yes, in the cart and then tell the zoo family, what happened to your face? I hit myself on the gate. You tripped and fell on the gate. Face That's first a into thing. a gate. You look so you look so tough though. You look like a little boy who just you know, just Ooh, is a little boy, a rough and this. tough little boy. Oh exactly, exactly my point. Exactly my point. So it's really common for you to read to your baby, especially if they've been in the NICU for a really long time. So we added books to our care package. Yep, nothing major, just a little reason for the season sort of deal. And we looked through all the books they had, and this seemed like a, a good one, a, good a simple one. little one yeah. you'd read to your baby. Look not at this very long. Girl. She's out cold. She was not going to be in the carrier, though. She wanted mama. Yeah. So she wanted to be involved in the shopping, I guess. Evidently. When we decided to do the NICU care packages, this is one thing that we definitely wanted to get. We wanted to get first year ornaments. And the reason I thought, I mean, we both have our own reasons, but the thing that popped into my mind, I'll, I'll say, is um, that this is, to me, the type of item that if you have a baby in the NICU and you're celebrating Christmas from the NICU, you probably are gonna forget to buy this. Yeah. And this is kind of a, a, a thing that, at least in America, I'll say we do. We buy that first, that first ornament that has 
the baby's picture in it. It says the year, it says baby's first Christmas. And if I uh, were in the NICU on Christmas, I would forget things like this. I would forget to uphold yeah. the traditions that you would typically do if a baby were born and discharged from the hospital two days later, like normal. You would do that stuff, but if you're in the NICU, maybe not. So uh, we wanted to, to do this, and it's so cute. There's a little rattle and a little ducky uh, on wheels, <laughs> and uh, and then they can put a picture of their precious little one in there. Um, there were a few options here, thanks to Hallmark. Thank you, Hallmark, because we couldn't find ornaments anywhere else, uh, but Hallmark came through and had them. Hallmark's not sponsoring this video. Uh, but we're including that. We're including that for sure. If we remember anything about the hospital, it's freezing. It's that it's cold. So we're gonna toss in three little gray throws. We didn't know what color to get. Gray is simple, and it turns out gray is all they have left in stock that's close to Christmas. So that's what we're going with. And Daisy's already letting us know we're getting close to the end of this video, right, Daisy? Yep. 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 Time to get me out of here. Okay, Melanie is officially walking around Walmart, breastfeeding under a cover. Something we never thought oh would happen. Uh, we are adding to the <laughs> care packages little journals. And they're the kind that have the little strap that helps the journal stay shut. This is because we don't know if they're the journaling type. Yeah. I mean, they may want to journal, they may want to write little thoughts they have, they may want to write instructions or little thoughts they have for the transition to home or who knows, the appointments, dates, little things that they may just need this for and they may not have yet. Who knows, maybe they do after three months of being in the NICU. But this may become a nice little single place that they can keep information and store it about their baby. So we want to include a little bit of something for baby, even though baby won't use it for a while. Uh, we don't want to leave the baby out of the care package, of course. So it's a little bath time booklet. And you can hear the little crinkly noise it makes. Babies love these noises. The little Lamaz toys make these noises. And you open it up and it has colors and animals that match the color. So sweet. So those will be in there for the babies. And last but not least, we need something to put all of this in. And we bought three plain white totes. Nothing special, just or it'll give them extra, uh, what do you call it, storage, storage, I guess, to get out of the hospital uh, because they will have a lot to take oh. with them when they finally do leave. So these are easy to store in the room and they can carry a lot of stuff out of the hospital when it comes time for discharge, which is what we'll be praying for for these three families. We can't make it out of Walmart without buying more clothes for Daisy. She's just a doll. She's literally our doll. <laughs> and we just dress her up. I can just take her. We just we just dress her up constantly in like fun Jojo things. Like Jojo Siwa. Yeah, like your Jojo Siwa doll. Yes, yeah, she'd probably fit in your Jojo Siwa outfits. You know, the clothing that fits your doll would probably fit her. Not that we should do that, I'm just saying. <laughs> what a but precious she, baby, what like a precious baby. Big on her. You think so? Yeah. You think she's smaller than Jojo Siwa? Oh my gosh. Much. This big and she's this small. Oh, uh, maybe. We just dropped our gifts off. We're just hoping and praying that they have a special Christmas, even though they're in the hospital, and that they know that they're thought of and prayed for. So um, this was just a really cool give back. I, I think we might do this, not maybe every year, or maybe every year, I don't know, but uh, definitely could see this as a family tradition from now on, just because we understand what it's like to have a baby in the NICU. So um, even though we had an amazing hospital and all the staff and nurses were amazing and wonderful, being in the hospital on Christmas just isn't, isn't much fun. So um, definitely can see this as a family tradition from now on.
Thanks for watching, Zoo Family. We hope that videos like this will inspire you to find ways to give back to people in your life or in your sphere of influence. We hope you had a Merry Christmas and that you have a Happy New Year. More videos to come soon. Keep watching.